everyone, it's Rachel of Clanfield Tan, and today I want to tell you how you can avoid buying a recast BJD. I have with me my Real Pookie So So because their um, Real Pookie So So is one of the sculpts that is most notoriously recasted, so I thought it would be cool to use her in the video. Um, her face plate is off getting a face up from Pint Size Palace, so watch out for the video for that when I unbox it and come up with a new character for her based on that face up. And I'm going to be getting her dressed with the clothes here so that you guys have something to watch while I talk and it's not just me talking at you. Okay, so the there are four main ways I know of to help you make sure you don't buy a recast. The first one is the simplest. Just don't buy from places that carry recasts. Only buy from the from the BJD company's actual website or from a dealer that's licensed, like Alice's Collections or Denver Doll. You'll need to do a little bit of research unless you just use what I just told you. But um, this is by far the simplest way, however. You can get better prices on BJDs from buying them secondhand from other collectors or directly like on Facebook groups or on eBay so if money is an object you can't necessarily follow this first tip but if money is not an object for you I would strongly recommend just going with this first point you can stop watching the video now you know everything you need to know if you want to make sure you can save money here are three other things you can do ask for the certificates of authenticity the sales receipts and the box. This is what she, this is what she came with, and you can see the little box and the certificate of authenticity. I'm gonna cover the serial number. There's a signature. This is the real um, Fairyland certificate of authenticity, and so you can ask to see those if. So if the person is selling a legit doll, they will not have any problem providing the box and or certificate of authenticity for you. If they're dodgy about it, don't buy the doll from them. Now, because we're only human, sometimes those do get lost. But if someone is selling a legit doll, they will always have something that they can show you a photo of the certificate of authenticity a sales receipt you know the email that they got verifying their order when they bought the doll make sure that you get something like that from the seller and if they cannot provide anything like that for you you're better off not buying from them you can another thing you can do for some bjds but this doesn't work for all of them is asked to see photos at the back of the head to see the head plate. Now this is a doll that doesn't have a head plate, but many companies like Long Soul Dolshi, I believe Doll Chateau uses head plates too. Again, this is something that you need to do a little bit of research for to know which um, which sculpts have head plates and which don't. But if it does have a head plate, ask to see a photo of the back of the doll's head. Again, if the seller is dodgy, refuses to show you, or says it's not necessary, then you know they're probably trying to pull one over on you. And if the head plate is missing, you have no way of knowing whether or not it's a legit doll. So if that's of concern to you, don't, just don't buy the doll. And lastly, the last thing you can do is... Uh, familiarize yourself with BJD companies and prices, which is also something you would need to do really to utilize a couple of the other points. We'll just put this over her so she's a little less scary. So look at, go to websites like Alice's Collections or Denver Doll that ha sell from multiple BJD companies. Go to the original BJD companies' websites spend a few hours you know these dolls are expensive if you're willing to put down that amount of money it would be wise to be willing to take the amount of time to just double check that you're getting the real deal so put in a few hours just looking at photos of the dolls and doing some research so you have a bare bones knowledge of just a general idea of what a legit doll looks like 
You can also sometimes look at owner pictures. Unboxing videos will often show what the doll looks like, the kind of box it comes in, the packaging that the legit company sends it in, and that can help you identify recast too. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if any of you are recast friendly or recast neutral, I'm not trying to rake you over the coals. I do believe that regardless of your opinion on the issue, I think we can all agree that everyone deserves when they pay their money for something to get what they think they're paying for. So that's what this video is about. Um, it's not about my opinions on the subject. It's about making sure you watching this video are able to make sure that when you spend your hard-earned money on something, it's what you think you're spending your money on. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to make sure that I can keep on making videos, please consider for sure subscribing and checking out one of the links below to support me on Patreon or by buying a sticker with a photo of one of my dolls from Redbubble or Society6. It would mean the world to me if I could keep on making videos for you guys, and I know my ad revenue is going to go way down at the beginning of 2020, so I'm trying to promote alternative ways to earn money to make sure that I can continue buying things to unbox and to make videos with. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.